1034-4607 in Governor's House Drive. Close of mind, someone's been shot. Tell me, I'm shot. I'm in the counselor. I'm in the counselor. Call me by the way. I'm shot. Then all you need to be advised, we have a 1031 at 4611 Governor's House Drive. HPD just advised us, possible 1034. He's there with the arm. I need to know what is 1020 is. If our units are out, they need to keep their distance. The offender's on the second floor. The GSW victim is probably still in the apartment. The female just got out of stating there is still the suspect inside. Breaking news update just into our newsroom. The Huntsville Police Department confirming that two police officers have been shot. Chief Deputy Scott Hudson telling us the suspect right now is barricaded at the governor's house apartments, which are off Jordan Lane. The condition of these officers is not known at this time. We have a crew at the scene right now. We also have a crew stationed outside Huntsville Hospital, where several Huntsville police officer vehicles are stationed. Officers were responding to a call of shots fired in that area when they were then shot. Everyone who was injured was taken to Huntsville Hospital ER for treatment. Can describe the scene as chaotic. Uh, it appears that the whole entire Huntsville Police Department has been passing by through this area. Uh, SWAT vehicles were seen going into the uh, 4600 block of Governor House Drive. Police will be doing, will be trying to safely evacuate anybody who might be in that area to get them away from the danger and also to try to uh, get this person who has barricaded themselves inside one of those apartments to come out. What we know so far is that right now they have begun to evacuate the people that in the uh, Governor's House Drive apartment complex. We've seen some folks uh, being led away. We were asked to not show that scene on camera so they can get it wrapped up. Now this person, is, is this live from the scene right now, guys, that ambulance? Okay, there is somebody else apparently being transported to the hospital. You see that there are three Huntsville Police Department units behind that. Uh, one private citizen and two Huntsville police officers being evaluated, being treated uh, for their injuries. And it looks like that another person has now been transported to the hospital for evaluation and treatment there in the emergency room. People who are involved in this situation could use prayer tonight. And I know that, that may offend some people. I don't care. Um, situation that we don't know what it is right now. During the course of the initial part of the call, the officers were also shot by an offender that later became barricaded in which you saw the police response, uh, overwhelming police response thereafter. And we had a barricaded subject for a little over an hour and then about 6.20, we were able to take that subject into custody. At this time, both officers are critical. And from what we understand, the female is, is also injured and is okay. But as many people as you see, you saw um, in the previous shots, it's so quiet out here right now. All you see is the lights flashing. All you see is uh, the officers embracing one another and um, standing around. But for right now, um, they're just gathering together, trying to keep each other lifted and in good spirits, the best spirits as they can is what it seems like to me. But officers are still arriving. It looks like some uh, civilians are here walking towards the emergency room. So we're not sure what exactly is going on, but I just want to keep you guys posted. I have a gut feeling, but it is definitely a show of respect for those officers who are fighting for their lives. Just stop what you're doing, look up from your phone here. Mm -hmm. This is a photo mm, of Huntsville and Albertville softball teams praying during a lockdown. The image coming to us from Jamie Moore, who's an athletic trainer at Huntsville Hospital. This is a very tough time for us. As a department, as a city in general. As you know, we had two officers responding to a call earlier today on Governor's House Drive. Most officers were shot and transported here with life-threatening injuries. 
So it's that time one of our officers has died. Embrace us. Keep us in your prayers. Because we have lost a great officer. We have lost a part of our community. This is one of those times when there, there aren't words. Words to express our sorrow. Words to express our support for our law enforcement officers who sit here and protect the city of Huntsville day in and day out. I told you all earlier tonight, it was just a eerie feeling. Um, there were so many officers here, but you could hear a pin drop. And I guess now we know why that is the case. Um, you just hope that when a police officer goes to work at night, they get to come home to their family the next day. And unfortunately, um, that's not the case tonight. Uh, one officer is currently fighting for his life um, as we speak, but I'm sorry, guys, it's, it's tough. It is really tough. Now, knowing what we know now, that Chief Kirk Giles has confirmed one of the officers shot in the line of duty today has died. Um, it is, it, um, you can tell, you, you can tell the emotion that they were feeling, the experience that they're going through. It, it's a brotherhood. Uh, Attorney General Steve Marshall has released the following statement concerning the line of duty death of Huntsville Police Officer Garrett Crumbie. Tonight, our state grieves the death of another member of the law enforcement victim, one who, called, when called upon, ran toward danger in aid of a female victim. Um, Huntsville Police Officer Garrett Cumby and fellow officer Albert Morin were responding uh, to an emergency domestic violence call for service when they were ambushed by an armed suspect. The suspect had already shot and injured a female victim who was present on the scene. So uh, Garrett Crumby, Huntsville Police Officer Garrett Crumby is the officer who died. Uh, I have a law enforcement officer in my family. It's your brother. <laughs> my brother. We've looked at a lot of pictures of him tonight. So this is hard to watch. He yeah. doesn't he doesn't work here. Um, but my heart goes out to the family of both these officers. I can't, I can't imagine what they're feeling. He was also noted for being the caregiver personality. He cared for the citizens that he dealt with, and he also cared for his family. His obituary reads, in policing, officers often tell others they got their six, meaning they would always be there. Garrett represented that statement by showing up even when not called to respond. It's a difficult thing to deal with. I've gone through this four times. And, uh, you got to understand these officers, these employees, we have to go back to work. A Huntsville police officer sworn to serve and to protect, killed in the line of duty. Officer Garrett Crumby, a son, a brother, a husband and a friend who made the ultimate sacrifice while living HPD's motto with a reputation of going above and beyond. Today, we pause to remember and honor the life of Officer Garrett Crumby. End of Watch, March 28, 2023. And we are preparing to say goodbye the local hero six days after his watch ended. Huntsville police officer Garrett Crumby killed in the line of duty last Tuesday. The three-year veteran of the Huntsville Police Department was shot in the line of duty while responding to a shots fired call last Tuesday evening. He was 36 years old. He was born in Starkville, Mississippi, and he was the only boy among three sisters. Officer Crumby was raised in Tuscaloosa, graduating from Hillcrest High School. For several years, he worked as a volunteer firefighter. He then joined the Tuscaloosa Police Department in 2013, 
working as patrol and a field training officer. After seven years there, he and his wife Taylor moved to the Rocket City, joining the Huntsville Police Department in 2020. Officer Crumby's obituary reads that he's remembered for his heart for service and known by his fellow officers for his positive attitude and willingness to learn. He was going to an address to take care of somebody who needed help and ultimately gave his life doing that. These two men are responding to a shooting. A person is wounded. They're concerned to save lives. One loses his life and the other is, is critically injured. <laughs> With no thought of danger to themselves, they go into a situation to help another fellow citizen. They weren't just police officers. They were people. They had families. They had loves and hobbies beyond the job. But they did love police work. It's heartbreaking to think about, you know, just the reality of evil in the world and the fact that he was going to help he was going to protect and serve his community, and it, it cost him his life. It is with deep sadness the family and Huntsville Police Department announced the death of Officer Garrett Coulter Crumby, who passed away Tuesday, March 28th in the line of duty. Garrett Crumby stood in front of me two and a half years ago. He raised his right hand and he swore to protect and to serve this community. After doing the same in Tuscaloosa for six years, and as he swore to protect and serve this community, he did it on a 24-hour basis. He did it during his time that he worked, but he did it in his time that he was able to give back to this community. And as somebody very, very special. We were calm and console. Garrett. Thank you for your selfless service, your drive, your respect, and most importantly, your sacrifice. He was a really humble guy. Um, but I want to say that without a doubt, he was really a true hero and he was always destined to be one. Garrett, we knew you were always on on loan to us from God. But we wish you were still here for a little bit longer. You truly showed us all how to be better humans. Somebody killed a policeman today and a part of America died. A piece of our country he swore to protect will be buried with him at his side. The beat that he walked was a battlefield too, just as if he had gone away to war. Though the flag of our nation won't fly at half-mast, to his name they will add a gold star. Yes, somebody killed a police officer today, maybe in your town or mine. While we slept in comfort behind our locked doors, a cop put his life on the line. Now his ghost walks the beat on a dark city street and he stands at each new rookie's side. He answered the call, of himself gave his all, and a part of America died.